Okay. Now, The Secret of Their Eyes is directed by Juan Jose Campanella, um, and it was the best foreign film winner from our last uh, Academy Awards that we had. So it just now came out on video, and uh, I decided to take a look at it and thought it might be kind of interesting, and it pretty much is. I, I was really engrossed in this story. Um, basically what we have here is it's, it's, it's about this um, older guy who's kind of looking back on his life, and he used to be a uh, detective, and he is, wants to write a novel about the last case he worked on where it was kind of this unresolved mystery that he never really could get his mind off of and uh, tied in along that there's kind of an underlying love story about uh, the one that got away uh, with the with this uh, person he worked under at that time so he kind of goes he, he's writing this and as he's writing this we, of course it, it works into flashback and we get to see how this uh, this mystery kind of unfolds and it jumps back and forth from present day to past, and we see how uh, even now he's still learning things about this case and gets to finally find some resolve uh, in his own life from this moment where he feels like everything kind of fell apart for himself. Um, so I, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was really, really well told. Um, it was a story that... They, they just give you enough information to keep you interested, to keep you engrossed. As the plot moves, they give you a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. And you think you have it all figured out. And then it even keeps unfolding from that point. Um, but not in like a hammy sort of twisty sort of way, but just, just a, a good naturally progressing plot. Um, there's some really, really fine craftsmanship in the filmmaking. There's a, a one scene in particular that I'd like to point out where uh, they're, uh, they're chasing the, a suspect through this uh, stadium, this soccer stadium, and uh, it's a, just a great uh, uh, handheld shot that lasts for, I think, about six minutes or so, and just really incredible blocking that would go into, to the, and lighting that would go into that kind of shot. And um, the, I, I, I gave it an A minus, and the only re my only real criticism is Campanella uh, worked uh, a lot on Law and Order, uh, mm -hmm. SVU, and those kinds of things in America. And there's a few Law and Order ish kind of moments in the movie where there's some interrogation stuff where you're like, well, I've seen this on TV before. <laughs> um, but uh, the movie actually does do a pretty good service at sort of making up for that in, in other places. And I think. Uh, he maybe fell back on tradition a little bit as far as how he's going to show certain things. But uh, the, the movie goes places you don't think it would, and it's a really interesting one. Yeah, I, too, enjoyed this movie. Uh, I thought it was really well told, uh, just the progression. It kind of has, you know, between it goes, you know, present to past, present to past, present to past. You kind of get a, I got a little lost here or there, but luckily mm -hmm. they make everyone look a lot older, <laughs> which gives away, like, oh, he's got gray hair. This must be a, this hard time. <laughs> But uh, no, it was really interesting. Lots of uh, the side plots were a lot of my favorites. So, you know, he has a uh, his coworker, or I guess his I don't know, maybe his lieutenant or something. Mm -hmm. His buddy is you know this drunk, and he has to take care of him all the time. So <laughs> like you know things are happening, and he has to go and get him out of the bar, and he's causing trouble. But he's kind of an idiot savant, you know. <laughs> he happens to know helps quite a bit with the case and stuff. And, what it was really weird is he answers the phone strangely. Like, yeah, that's what was one of my favorite parts is he's just answering the phone, you know, of these absurd locations like, <laughs> you know, sperm donors and stuff. And you're like, yeah. what? It's like, what, <laughs> like, what kind of police station is this? <laughs> and I also really enjoyed, the, yeah, the the love story. That's what I was rooting for more. I could care less if they solved the case. I was more <laughs> going, say something to the girl. <laughs> I was just like, it was really, uh, really got involved with the characters and yeah. loved the main guy. He was just... Really good acting. I uh, know, uh, he just knew what he was, he had that cop feel to him, but it wasn't like the, you know, the American in-your-face yeah, cop. Gritty. It was kind of the film noir, definitely not a film noir movie, but yeah. but has that kind of detective story versus yeah, yeah. a you know, lethal weapon story. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I liked... Uh, I liked everybody's performance from this, and Benjamin uh, Esposito is the name of the character, played by uh, Richard Darin. Darin. 
Um, I guess he's more of a Spanish actor. He's been in a lot of Spanish film, and uh, I really enjoyed his performance throughout the whole thing. And I think that love story aspect is what really saves it from just being a Law and Order type story. We have this other thing that's going on, and it's more about his state and life during this case than the case itself. So, what so, grade did you give? Oh, I gave this one an A minus. Cool. cool. Definitely was enjoyable. All right, we're gonna.